has your view of women changed since you've become a Muslim? I wouldn't say that my view on women has changed. I just see that Islam gives a solution yet again for pretty much every problem that we are talking about within the West. You know, so it starts with us men lowering our gaze and women dressing modestly. Us men, we have to dress modestly as well. And it's something that is so obvious once you see it. But before mm -hmm. that, people don't see it. And as you said already, people see it as something oppressive. So yeah. my view on women has not changed due to Islam. My view on women has changed already gradually over the years, of course. Yeah. And yeah, with Islam, again, I only see that we have a solution in place which leads to happier outcomes. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't understand that. For example, no matter which woman I talk to, even if she is not promiscuous, even if she's not somebody that drinks alcohol parties, mm -hmm. just by the fact that they show their beauty, not even in a provocative fashion, but just they're showing their beauty, they're showing their hair, maybe a tight jeans. Mm -hmm. but all of them get catcalled. All of them get spoken to in a certain way. You know, they get, if we're talking about red pill or pickup scene or whatnot, you go to such women. Like you see them, they seem available automatically to you. But out of my perspective, for example, a woman in a hijab never seems available. She just no. doesn't seem available. You know, no. I would never, in my most deranged times, I would have never gone up to a hijabi and asked her for her number, ever. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so yet again, the woman that is not fully covered, she might be a totally nice woman, a virgin, etc., etc. But just by the way that she is, mm -hmm. she is fair game, so to speak, for the guys that want to go after her. Yes. And a thing that can happen there as well is, we talked about that briefly, that women ultimately, they want to bind a man to them, of course, mm -hmm. as we men want to find a woman, sure. However, women can, be, can get obstructed by attention as well. So a woman can be a totally normal, innocent girl, and then she gets so much attention for her beauty that her ego starts building up. And after a while, she will think of herself differently. She will mm -hmm. think of herself as somebody that has all so many options. She will mm -hmm. think of herself highly, and that will obstruct her ego, will corrupt herself. And mm -hmm. this is what the hijab protects of as well. So it's not only a protection from the creep that tries to get your number. It's not mm -hmm. only a protection for men to not get aroused. You know, the bad, bad man, oh, we need to cover the women so they don't get aroused. No, it's a protective system for the ego of the woman as well, to not get those compliments over and over again, because compliments are nothing good. Yeah. It's nothing good. You know, every yeah. time we give each other compliments, we mean nice. But mm -hmm. in reality, like that, we're just feeding our egos and we're destroying ourselves. We're destroying our self-perception. Mm -hmm. if, if you want something bad for a person, just give them compliment after compliment after compliment and see how they get obstructed. Mm -hmm. So that's why. So again, my perception of women has not changed in itself. But my perception of the hijab most definitely has changed because I see it as yeah, the beautiful protection that it is on multiple levels. It's... I completely agree. I, I've not worn hijab my whole life. Um, it's a very recent thing. And you are completely right in what you say, even the way you view yourself when you put hijab on. At first, I've, I've been wanting to wear it since I was in primary, like, small school. And my mum told me, don't put it on. Because she was like, don't wear it because I want you to wear it when you feel like, you know, you're going to definitely wear it for a long period of time. She wanted sure. to protect me. I was in a Western school. She didn't want me to be made fun of. Um, and then obviously after I went to university, then I lost my way and decided, you know, I was more interested in how I look and I wanted my hair out and I wanted to dress a certain way. And then yes. I met my husband and I'm, when I met my husband, he met me in that way. So then my fear was, mm -hmm. well, he might not like it if I start putting hijab on. He might not like it if I start covering up. He's not used to me being like that. And I slowly started to drip feed it to him. And he was like, I love it when you wear hijab. I love watching you pray. I love it when you, when you cover up. Sure. And, Alhamdulillah, he encouraged me to put it on. And when I did put it on, you're right. Uh -huh. you, people view you completely differently. You get so much more respect. People don't look at you. Men don't look at you like they did before. Um, it's a big difference. And inshallah, my, my girls will, will follow my footsteps. Um, inshallah. Yeah, it's beautiful that, that you as a man see that as well. Because sometimes men don't, don't see it like that. They just think, oh, she's covered up and that's it. And, that's what she's no, no, absolutely not. I mean, we have the extremes as well. So, for example, I personally, when I go to the gym, I don't like mixed gyms to begin with. I don't like where we have males and females. 
But of course, it goes even further. It's not only males and females. Nowadays, they're wearing those Gymshark leggings where they're basically naked, right? Which reminds me of the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he speaks about the future and how you will have women fully clothed but naked. Yes. And yeah, it's just, okay, what are we, what are we doing here? What are we pretending to be, you know? Of course, as a man, you get aroused when you see a half-naked woman. Mm -hmm. It's completely normal. So why do we do this now? Why do we put ourselves in such an environment and yeah, bring out our sexual primary attributes and now we look at each other? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, right? So ultimately, it all boils down to having self-worth and self-value. Mm -hmm. And this is not how people see that. You know, Nowadays, they've been so brainwashed that they think they need to portray their beauty, quote-unquote, mm -hmm. and dress provocatively even. But mm -hmm. it is just an exchange of attention. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. It's a currency. Attention is a currency. And you see that on social media as well, through clicks, through thumbs up. And women, unfortunately, can feed on that too. Mm -hmm. And it is so unhealthy. It is so detrimental to them. And they will realize that sooner than later. As I said before, in their 30s, the latest, women mm -hmm. start realizing that, that they just wasted all of this attention. It is attention grabbing nothing else. So if you have true self-worth, you will find a husband that loves you. And for him, you will cover and be happy about that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, and, I, and we as men truly appreciate that as well. I mean, a real man, I would say, appreciate that his wife covers. Yes, I'm glad that you said that because a lot of men, sure. a lot of women think that men don't think like that, that they want their women to be out and, you know, dressing a certain way so they can show them off. But no, that's that's not the way that men think either. Yeah, um, and only in Islam, sorry to interrupt, only in Islam you have the concept of a day youth, right? Some man that is not protective enough, ultimately, mm -hmm. not jealous enough. Mm -hmm. And this is something that in Western culture is displayed, right? So you see, for example, the movie star or the rapper, and he has his woman as a trophy, basically, mm -hmm. and she's wearing those provocative clothes. Mm -hmm. But the point is, you as a man know exactly what those other men think, right? Mm -hmm. And I talk to men, and they will tell me, yes, they think that, but they cannot have her. I have her. You know? <laughs> I think that's so ridiculous. You already have her. So what's the, what's the point now? Why do you need the attention of other men why do you need other men to lust over your woman that's absolutely disgusting yeah you know what is what is this i mean even if we talk about it okay there is a beggar that beggar doesn't have money so i'm going to show him my sandwich look at it mm, delicious <laughs> what's, what's the point i don't understand this so no for me i obviously appreciate a woman covering and yeah just protecting it for the husband it's beautiful there's nothing it's beautiful it's, for it's, it's respect yeah. it's respectful it's beautiful there's nothing better than that for us men no, and for a woman, it's beautiful as well to know that her husband loves her that much, that he wants to protect her and keep her yes. for him. Um, yes. yeah, it shows a true relationship.